Species 4. Oh! That's Species 4, you guys! Nice! That's the that's the new one. <laughs> All right, we found it. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and the main goal for this episode is for us to look for some more of the golden keys and um, maybe do a little bit more to try and um, boost our TTI. We could launch some more rockets. Um, I'm at 5,000 on oxygen heat pressure, 6,000 on plants, 5,250 on animals. Um, so why don't we do... What are we doing animals first? Uh, I know we need bee larva for that, but I can't remember what else we need. Let's do another animal rocket and we'll also go um, possibly make another animal depending upon where we are with our genetic traits. Uh, oh, right. Okay, so we need six of those plus an Oz and a T4. Here, let's just actually go ahead and pin that. Hopefully I'll remember to unpin it when we come back up to actually launch it. So let's go to the food farm and grab some more traits off of our critters and uh, see where we are with that. Hi guys. Okay, we got a trait from you and a trait from you and one from you. All right, we should have our new little leaf tail with no ears here. Did you give me a trait? I don't know if they did or not. And um, I think that's all of them. Is that all of them? You guys doing okay on food? Yep, you're doing fine. Oh yeah, that's what we could do. We could make that animal feed stuff, which also increases multiplier. We should do that. Um, what do we need to do that? Okay, so that's just animal multiplier 200%. Animal multiplier 500%. Yeah, why don't we, why don't we make a bunch of these? You know, we could probably even automate this. So, okay, so we're putting in here, well, these were just, these are just ones we're using for making color codes. All right, here, let's back up for a second and see what we can put in here. That's a color B. Okay, so let's put the color B in there. What's that? That's a color B. This is a species three. I think that's him, the speedster. No, I think that's the deer guys. Well, let's just do it anyway, because right now I'm I'm more interested in the, getting the multiplier from it than I am worrying about anything else. Skin pattern color is already there, and genetic trait skin pattern we'll put there. So we need a color A, a variant, a bio, and a size. There's a color A. There's a variant. There's a size. Oh, my favorite meteorite storm's coming in. And then just a bioluminescence, which we have right here. 10, 9, 10, 8. I don't know. Let's go 8. Okay, so we got that done. While we're waiting for all of this noise, um, 
You know, maybe maybe I should convert all of this over to to doing the animal food. So if we did that, we'd have this one make. Oh, see, we don't have algae here. I mean, I could have drones bring it in, I suppose. Uh. Hopefully we don't get killed. Does this... This makes... Does this make the... Yeah, wait a minute, that is... That's the uncommon, right? Alright, so let's switch this one out to make the tier one. And so that requires common larva. And we got plenty of honey and beans in that should be within range of this. Um, let's see if we can test that. Just look for a common larva. It's an uncommon, but we'll pick that one too. Let's take all of those out. Okay, there's a common larva there. Does this make rare larva? Because that's what that's what you need, right? Yeah, you need rare larva. Come on, game. You just gave me a storm. Okay. We could set this up to... Demand uncommon and rare. And just see if that works. And then let's put you, let's just put all of you in there. All right, so. So you should be able to pull the common larva, the beans and the honey. Do we have, oh, maybe we don't have beans ready to pick. Yeah, we do. What am I missing? We should have honey in here. Okay, maybe we don't. Maybe it's just waiting on the honey, I guess. Okay, so assuming that... Well, no, we know we know that other machine out there will produce common larva. And so we set this up to demand common. Right, uh, yeah, right there. Oh, no, we didn't. Hold on. Common larva. There we go. So the drone should bring the common larva over to there. I know you guys cautioned me about that filling up really quick so you know this will kind of I'm kind of just testing it at this point and if it seems to work okay I might have a separate uh, you know storage for for just the common and maybe the uncommon larva and then put the overflow in the shredder like we're doing with the bees there that's a kind of priority of the zero this one should have a priority of one yeah okay but I just want to, like I said, I just want to kind of test it first and see if it's actually going to work. So we're really just waiting on a honey. And then this should kick in and make the first thingy of food. And then this, um, this, I guess we're going to have to have the drones bring in algae. Mm, what if it like completely jams it up with algae? We probably shouldn't have the algae come in directly to this machine. Um, oh, you know what I could maybe do is, I wonder if I could fit an algae thing in this little river here. That'd be like perfect. Um, 
Hey, buddy, did we get a trade from you? We didn't. He gave us a variant, too. Nice. Uh, by the way, we need to take six of these back with us for the rocket. We've got a whole shit ton of bioluminescent nines. One, two, three, four of those. Uh, we got two number four skin patterns. I don't think I want to use the... S well, we do have a lot of species. Let's put the variant in there, and let's take a species one. And that should be enough for us to do an animal rocket. Forgot, we gotta put this guy down too. Hey, look at those colors, nice. Cool. Oh, wow, that one's got a tail. Like a big tail. I don't think the other two deer-ish creatures have big tails. Yeah, he's got kind of like a medium-sized tail. and Oh, that's neat. Okay. Right, so uh, we want to see if we can make uh, an algae generator. And just put that down here in the river if there's room for it. So let's go back to the canyon base. Uh, we'll get the rocket launched first. So we need a tier four muty, a rocket, and an osmium rod. Okay, let's go get that taken care of first and then we'll make the al get the stuff for the algae and then go back and set that in place. And then what I'll do is I'll set the feeder up to get the animal food instead of, you know, you know, just anything, which is what it's currently set up to do. Okay, let's unpin that and then let's make it and send, send some more fish off into space. Let's see if we can mess up the rocket here. There we go. Nice. All right. Um, is my light on? It isn't. Let's get it on, man. All right. We need stuff to make the algae generator. Uh, there we go. Let's take a drink of water. So two bio plastics, which I should have over here. A, it looks like a green fertilizer. No, a black fertilizer. And then we need two supers and it looks like maybe a magnesium. Do I have any of those in overflow? Yes, I've got a magnesium in overflow. I don't think I have any supers in overflow though. Those are gonna be here. Very good. All right, that gives us everything we need for our algae generator. Go back to the food farm. Have you done anything yet? Oh. This shows... This does not show as being in range of the beehives. They're a little too far away. That explains why it's not getting honey. You know what I think I'm going to do for that? I think I'm going to set up a couple of tier one beehives over here. Because then we don't have to deal with the overflow of the larva and all that stuff. Anyway, um, okay, so can I put this algae thingy right uh, down here? It's kind of shallow, but as long as it... Here, let's let's actually move it out a little more. Okay, I think that'll be enough for it to, it, you know, produce some. It's probably it might be hindered from full production, but as long as it has enough for this to pull, we should be good. So if we look at this now, um.
I don't, I don't see the algae generator, but I think it'll appear once when the algae comes in. I think that's how that works. Okay, so um, you can pull honey. You should be able to pull honey and beans, and you should be able to pull common larva from here. Grab those now because I know the drones will take them out. And if this gets jammed up, you know, then we'll fix it later. You, hey, butterfly. You're making flour. What? Oh, and this was making chocolate. That's right. Okay. So for you, um,. You, uh, you can make croissants. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to actually just disable this one for now. Yeah, let's just disable that one for now. All right, so so you should be you should be able to pull the algae when it's ready. And we just need to get rare larva in here. Does it tell me produces larvas and increases plants levels? Okay, it doesn't tell me what kind of larva it creates. So we'll just have, I guess we'll just have to wait for a bit and see if it eventually creates the, um, you know, the rare. If it doesn't, then I think we can... Um, can we make rare larva? We can, but then we're going to need fertilizer, plankton, and tier four mutagen, which is not going to be super easy to automate. Definitely doable, but. More involved. Um, we could, we could deliver the tier two fertilizer. The tier four muties themselves, though, need the tier three muties and the muties. Hmm. Yeah, I this may not be something that I can just simply set up without doing some, you know, forethought and getting all the other machines. But if this thingy out here will occasionally produce uncommon larva. Then I think it'll, I think it could work, uh, at least on a small scale. Uh, what do we need for the small beehive? In order to actually see that, we have to remove this filter chip. That's kind of, the jury's kind of out for me as to how useful that actually is. I mean, it's kind of useful, but so I think we set up maybe a couple of these over on this side, so there's room. Uh, uh, you know, so this can grab from it. Because, yeah, you're the one that needs the honey. Okay. Let's go back to the, the base, the main base. And we want two supers, two fertilizers, two plastics. Or, and Dead. How many do I have out here? I've got three. I think I'm have been getting jammed up with honey because the those three produce pretty quickly. Here, let's grab all of these and make more cookies. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take one of these over to the animal farm. Let's make it this one here. We have to pull that out first. And maybe we'll just start with one and see 
you know how well that act how that works that might be enough to support it all right so this needs to be in range of the dealio and probably we could try and put it right down here and see if that is close enough Okay, I still don't see I don't see the honey machine showing up. That may be because it's um it doesn't have honey in it yet. What if we did this? Come on, get back up there. There we go. Doesn't seem to be detecting it. That's really weird. I figured that would have been close enough. It's seeing the the algae. Hmm. That is not that far away. All right, let's um Let's put it over on this side. I mean, that seems to be even further away though, is the thing. I mean, I know I can set the drones up to deliver it, but I'd rather have it pull directly. Yeah, see, it still doesn't show up there. And I don't see it here either. This one... Uh, yeah, this one shows the tier 2 beehives there. Hmm, how do we deal with this? Because it's just, it's not close enough. And I'm just really surprised that, you know, putting it back over here where we had it wasn't working. All right, I got an idea. What if we remove the, uh oh, what's the matter with us? We're hungry. What if we, we remove that and then. Ah, there we go. That's the solution. So that should be within range now. Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. Alright, so now this will be able to pull honey. And it should be able to pull... What else does it need? Uh, beans and a common larva. So we have common larva in here why is it not pulling from that it should have everything it needs oh did something did something else pull the honey out of here can't get around yeah something else pulled the honey out Oh, shit. I'll bet you this guy did here. Yep. Okay, that's what happened. This one pulled it. So... Alright, let, let's... Let's try this again. I'm gonna go once again and and just put it as far this direction as I can. Right. 
there. Nope, it doesn't see it. Son of a beech nut. Okay, let's try this. Let's push it as far this way as as we can. Let's see if that does anything. Okay, so that sees it, but the question is does this one also see it? It does. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> okay. Here's another possibility. We don't need to have that constructor inside of the building. Plus, I don't like this hole here anyways. So let's deconstruct this and we'll move it out here. Not really what I wanted to do, but sometimes you got to do shit you don't want to do. Um, yeah, start right there. Set this for tier one animal food. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. It's not in range of the beans. That's why I wasn't pulling the beans. Okay, so if we... Actually, it should be able to pull directly from that thing, huh? Now that I think about it. Okay, let's put this on this corner. Um, And set it for this. Yes! Okay, it can pull straight from the ecosystem. And it can pull the beans. Very good. Okay, so now we just need to set the tier one beehive far enough away to where that other autocrafter doesn't get to it. Let's try right there. Yep, it sees it. Okay, and this one should not see it. Let's just double check. There's no way it's going to see it from way over there. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, perfect. So we have now positioned that to where it should work to produce the tier one food. So we just need that to produce some honey, and then it should theoretically kick in. Because I have... Um, I have these larvae in here. Let's actually pull them back out of here. And I'm going to put them in here. Let's take these two out. Oh, um, now the drones are going to move them. But I mean, this should also be in range, I would think. I wish that, you know, you see how that says color larva? That's not spelled correctly, is it? Just realize that. So I wish that when you looked at this, it... It's not showing the storage bin. It's too, it's too far away from the storage bin. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I have no room for all that shit. I have no room for all this stuff. Um, what I was thinking about doing was moving this closer out to here. Like, maybe to here it would work. So that means we're going to have to make a tier two locker. And I got to go back to the main base to do that. What a bunch of farting around, man. 
That's the that's the way things go sometimes. It's like, okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna do this in this episode, but first, it'll only take me about five minutes to do this one short thing, and then you know the episode is already over by the time you get the fucking thing to work. <laughs> it's like, I know that's a bit of an exaggeration, but sometimes it feels that way, you know. Right, I'm just gonna put all of these larvae in here. Okay, so we need two super alloys. Let's grab another water. Two super alloys and a circuit board, uh, which we will get from here. You know what, actually, what we can do with this is um, we can just leave this here and keep it on color larva. And this one will be for normal larva. That's probably actually a very damn good idea anyways. So right now, it's not able to see any storage. But if we put this one... And we could actually even just put this one right next to it. Then there's no way it can't see it, right? That's the theory anyways. Okay, we're going to call this basic larva. We're going to have you demand uncommon, rare, and common. Okay. So grab those out of there. Put them in there. So now it sees the, the storage. Oh, it already made one. Look at that. Okay. It's working finally. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Jim. Damn it. Ugh. Okay, so now. Does, so now will this, does this detect that constructor? It detects a total of three constructors. Let's, or autocrafter, I'm sorry. Uh, let's pick that one up. And that just leaves, that leaves this autocrafter. And that auto crafter. So now it should show two in the list. It shows two in the list. Perfect. Okay, so that means it can reach that one out there. Um, and, and what we could even do to... Well, no, let's just leave it the way it is because it, it, can, it can reach. All right, so now you need... The rare larva, the T1 animal food, and the algae. Right. Okay. So lots of algae. It's now just really a question of will this at any point produce rare larva? And I don't know the answer to that question. You would think it would because it's, you know, producing. Oh, look at that. There's a uh, special butterfly larva. Um, you know, it's producing these really exotic ones. So you'd think it would also just do a an uncommon too, you know? I don't know. What does it cost to make these ecosystems? That's pretty cheap. We could make a second one too. I have a feeling like if we do that though, we're probably going to overload on larva and Again, we could, we could do this kind of thing to just deal with the overflow. That's a common. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I want to switch you over to only demand tier two animal food and um is there a what's the range on these oh wait a minute okay so that seems to suggest it's only servicing the animals that come out of that shelter well that's interesting So that means you're hungry. 
hunger is zero. Hunger is zero. Hunger, shh, that's what we want, right? Zero. Hunger earns 29 on you. 46. So is that one of those deals where we want the number to be higher or lower? Because zero hunger seem would seem to suggest to me that they're not hungry. <laughs> but I'm, I'm ha I have a feeling like since all of these guys have numbers there, that it's a countdown kind of thing, which means these dudes over here are starving. Okay, well, if that's the case, then what we need to do is make a food... Uh, another food animal feeder. All right, so let's pin that and go back to the main base and get all the stuff we need. And I think we're going to need to keep them on normal food for now. Um, I, I really, the more I think about it, I think I, if I want to do this seriously, I need to actually set up a more deliberate production to make that stuff. Um, okay, so what am I doing? Uh, we're making another animal feeder. So we need a circuit board. We need bioplastic. We need honey and silk. Grab the silk out of you. Wow, it is raining outside. Go back to the food farm. Mm, here, we'll just put that right there. Okay. And then you just demand squash, eggplant, and mushrooms. I want to save the beans for the producing the food. And it looks like the drones are gonna bring stuff over here, I guess. They just flew right right by the thingy. We can give them a cookie. We'll give them a cookie for starving them. Oh yeah, okay, so now the hunger on this one's 89, which definitely means it counts down and not up. Where's uh Where's our leaf tail? I'm gonna grab that uncommon. See, I just figured those critters would just wander over here and eat from this one, but it's apparently assigned to the shelter that their DNA thingy's in. I don't know where our other leaf tail went to. Oh, there it is. Okay, you should no longer be hungry. Uh, it's not giving me your uh, screenshot. There you go. Okay, so it's it's had something to eat. Okay, so we fixed that. Um, we we might as well. Well, hmm. See now there isn't any room for the the animal food. We'll add the animal food to that as well. And you need to be set to just supply everything. That's just the easiest way to do that. Uh, no, supply this one. Supply everything. There we go. Okay, so really the only thing I'm not 100% certain about at this point is the rare larva. And I'm starting to think maybe this doesn't produce rare larva. So that would mean we would have to set up a production to make them because we can do that. But it's fairly involved. I mean, because, because, okay, so we would need, we need to haul in fertilizer. We need to set up a water filter to collect plankton C and empty out the other types of plankton. And then we would have to set up 
a tier four mutagen production, which requires tier three mutagen, which we'd have to set up a production for the tier three mutagen. Oh God. Okay. Um, which we'd have to set up a production for the bacteria. And then the rest of the stuff, you know, would just come nat could come naturally. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give that some thought. Um, it's not it's not quite that simple. <laughs> I, it would it would have been simple if this made rare larva, but I'm I'm kind of thinking it doesn't uh, unless it's just an RNG thing. We we just haven't seen them yet. All right, let's just put that stuff in there. And we'll put those in there, and these can go in here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and spend the rest of this episode then. Um, we're thirsty. Uh, see if we can find a couple more of the warden keys. So I'm going to go back to the canyon base. How many of these can I just manually cook up? I'd have to make a bunch of these. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about that. We, I, I, might, I might do it. But here on the other hand, you know, we started off this episode... At 4.48 was it TTI, and we're already at 4.6, so it's not going to really take that much longer to get up to five, even if I don't do that. It'd be kind of fun to do it though. So, yeah, we'll think about it. I'm going to need to plan it out a little bit ahead of time though, if if we do decide to go that route. My drones are too damn efficient, man. Okay, put all that stuff in there. Let's just eat that. Uh, this can go back in there, and I should have dropped this trade off at the food farm. Here, let's even just throw that right in here. Now, um, do we want to... Where's my satellite thingy? Okay, so animals are now up to 7,000%. We could probably do another plant and or oxygen just because I, I think, you know, we can support that with our massive Crayola forest. So why don't we do that? Let's do a seed spreader and a plant rocket. And then we'll go look for those keys. I just have to run out there and see what the recipes are because I can't remember uh, what they are. All right, so let's see. We don't need an, uh, we want a seed spreader, so let's pin that. Uh, and that's the one that gives us oxygen. And then we wanted the plant one, which is plant rocket, this one here. Well, that multiplier is 1250. Huh. That one's 1750. I never noticed that before. I didn't realize that uh, the plant rocket had a little bit higher percentage. Let's gather up all the stuff we need to do this. So we got. Uh, two rockets. Oh, we're going to need four super. We're going to need... Uh, bacteria, which I don't have in here, but I do have a mutagen. We're going to need a couple of tree bark. And then a bacteria and a looks like a black fertilizer. And bacteria is plankton fertilizer gas algae bacteria. 
There we go. Okay, that should be enough to get these two rockets launched. Give us just a little bit extra boost here. We're doing um, seed spreader. And we're doing plants. Wait a second. Oh, I forgot to get the Lerma seed. There we go. Off you go. Okay, unpin you, unpin you. Unpin you and unpin you. That takes care of all the pins. Very good. Okay, I think we're ready to take off. Let's get some extra waters. Uh, there we go. Let's grab a couple extra of those and we'll drink one right now. Let's take a honey cooked beans to reduce our water consumption further. I'm going to put the flares away. We don't need to carry those with us. Those are primarily just used for procedural wrecks. Maybe we'll take a couple more honeybean soups. So for the rest of this episode, uh, we're just going to kind of travel around and see if we can find the other keys. Now, we haven't been... I'm trying to think uh, of where we haven't been in a, in a while. We haven't really explored the... Oh, you know what? I think this might be another one of those new procedural wrecks. Let's go look at this real quick. We haven't fully explored the the wetlands area. I mean, we've been there a million times, but only near our area. Oh, that's just a... Okay. I don't think I want to go in there right now. I want to just look around for those keys. Now, some of them could obviously be inside of one of those caves, but let's just visit the the main biomes first. This is really neat. I didn't plant any of this stuff. This is all just naturally planted here. Very cool. And just see if we can find, you know, a couple of those out in the open and then we may have to get a little more specific as to where we look later on. We went through the rainbow caves in the last episode. I mean, not entirely through them, but I went through them quite a bit and I didn't see or notice any keys in there. And both of the ones that I found so far have all have been out in the open anyways not that 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 doesn't automatically mean all of them will be but it is something to consider so we'll kind of fly around more on this end of the wetlands area to see if we can find one and then after that we'll go elsewhere this is a one of the newer wrecks um i was actually playing multiplayer yesterday evening with my friends and we we found this but we never we didn't actually go into it so i'm not gonna worry about it right now I wouldn't think that the warden keys would be in the actual warden area since, you know, we've already been through there. Doesn't seem likely to me. I'll take that and that. And we also checked the, the arches biome, which is just kind of up this way. Of two or three episodes back, so we don't need to go back up there. But we, uh, let's see, we, we've looked in the crater and we've looked at the sand falls. That's where we found the two. I've already been down here. Most likely I have, because there's nothing in those chests. Yeah, okay. Oh, let's see. I haven't been back to the, you know, the, the big lake, you know, the starter area in 
quite some time, so we could go do a flyby through there. Uh, that goes up to the arches place that we've already checked. I've looted that. That goes to one of the other warden areas. Here we go. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, that's number three. We need to find a total of ten. So we've found three so far. So there's one by the big ship in the desert. Good to know. You know where where else we haven't been in a while is inside of the labyrinth. So I wonder if there's something over there. We'll go take a look-see. Let's also take a peek inside of here. And we could go look up in the secret area. Which is up here. Species 4. Oh! That's Species 4, you guys! Nice! That's the that's the new one. <laughs> All right, we found it. Fantastic. Uh, I'll take that, 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 and that. And I think that's it. I'm going to leave the rest of that stuff because I have an abundance of it. Oh, nice. Okay. Species 4. That's amazing. Let's, let's just kind of cruise down here real quick and see if we can find another key, but... Now that we have found Species 4, I, I kind of want to go back and, and see what it is. But we'll fly through here real fast just to see if we can find one of the another one of the keys. We haven't really been over by the, you know, or we haven't scoped out the waterfall area other than just really, you know, being close to our fertilizer production place. You don't suppose that thing could be under the water, do you? I love coming under the water in this lake now and, you know, just seeing all the, the coral and the aquatic plants. When you consider how barren this place was, you know, when we first started the game. It's pretty cool. Let's go up by this other ship, too, and see if there's possibly a key over here. Not really seeing anything. Of course, it's really dark out right at the moment. Let's go through the pass, and we'll just kind of poke our head over into the waterfall biome. Uh, we could even jump down into the mushroom biome, too. I don't think I've been back down there since we got the key finder thingy. But let's just do a bit of a cruise around the waterfall. We could go over to... Oh, and we need we haven't been in the lava biome in a long time either. Let's go over by this ship and see if there's anything. I'll take that, that, and that. Alright, not seeing anything pop in there. We haven't really looked around the Stargate a whole lot either. We've, you know, of course we've been there, but we haven't um, searched the whole entire area. Just, just enough to go into the new red biome place. This would be kind of a, a fun island to have like a an island base.
I doubt that we could find that thing under the water. Doesn't seem likely. Oh, here we go. Okay, that means that makes uh, five now or four? Four. We found four. Fantastic. I'll bet you there's one in the lava biome. I'll take that, that, and that. And I think I'll leave the rest of that. So we've already found the one in the crater. Um, let's go check the lava biome and maybe take a cruise through the barrens. And then, of course, there's also the the meteorite biome, too. The funky alien black and silver biome. Did I already look in here? Yeah, I think I did. Wonder what the chances are of one being up on the waterfall. I don't know if I've checked up here because when I play multiplayer, our base is actually on the top of the waterfall. So I get kind of confused as to, you know, which playthrough I've been to which location. Let's go look over here. There's a golden crate up here, you know, in the earlier game. Well, it's there until you take it away, which I did. What about down at the, the cave? Let's fly in here real quick and see if we can find one. I never did get all that equipment. Oh, look at all those Vitao suits. We have a bunch of those already. I'm not going to grab those. Okay, let's go check over at the lava biome. So my guess is that the most likely place that we would find the key would be over by the ship. So let's go over there. There we go. Look at that. Huzzah. Okay, so we have five of the ten keys now. I just got space magnet gain a total of... 100,000 Terra Tokens. Look at us and our bad selves. Okay, this is a point of interest in the Barrens. Um, not seeing a key over here, though. Those golden trees are cool looking. Let's go fly this direction. Let's try the meteorite biome. I'll take that only. All right, I haven't noticed anything in here. Uh, why don't we pop down into the mushroom biome and take a quick look see down there? This hit is over back by the warden's area. That's the first key slot. This goes up into the lava, back into the lava biome. Maybe I'll just scooch up through here and real quick and see if I can find it. If not, we'll come back. All right. No moss. We know it's not in the the red the red biome because we were just went through that place a couple episodes ago and I had the key detector thingy on me. Let's drink some mana freeze. Okay, I'm not seeing it down here. You know, I guess I... I don't know that we've thoroughly searched the canyons for it. So let's do... Let's take a look at the... 
um, the Stargate area. And then we'll kind of go through the canyons. And then after that, uh, I think we I think we have covered all the major biomes. Oh, we didn't go look in the spires either. We could do that. That's not too far from here. This is a place I would expect to find it. There we go. Okay. So that gives us six in total. Because we have two back at the base. Very nice. Let's go check the spires. Well, you know, too, I, I, I haven't really been through the aluminum biome either. Or whatever the hell you call that thing. That place right over there. So we have a pretty decent chance of finding it in there and or in the spire biome, I would think. We'll hit the spires first and then come back around and go through the aluminum. All right, I didn't see anything in the spires. Okay, I didn't see anything in aluminum either. Um, unless I missed it, which is entirely possible. Let's check the canyon. That's just a normal microchip. And, um, and the labyrinth. I would think that if this was going to be in the canyon, it probably would be on top of one of the plateaus. Not necessarily, of course, but... Okay, not on top of there. Oh, yep, look at that. Right, <laughs> right there by our power. Jeez, man, that one was just like right next door to our house. Cool. Okay, so that gives us a total of seven. We need three more. Yeah, so we got a total of seven, seven of those. If, uh, actually, no, let's, um, I, this episode's going to be a little longer <laughs> than usual, but I'm just going to keep going here for just a little bit longer. Let's go uh, to the food farm. And <clears throat> I want to see what this new species looks like. Okay, so... We'll just put in, let's grab what we currently have. So those are all species. We'll grab this color. That's color A. That's color A. Skin pattern, color. Do we do skin pattern, color, or skin pattern? Skin pattern. Okay, so let's choose this skin pattern, color. Uh, we'll do a variant for a bioluminescence. Uh, whatever the hell I just grabbed. So we just need a size and a color B. It's always the color B. That's the one I think needs frog eggs. Let's see if any of our pals out here will give that to us. Gonna <laughs> Oh, it does have rare larvae. Oh, fantastic. Okay. It does indeed make rare larvae. That is really good news. Um, so you... Yeah, you should have everything you need except for the tier one food. I... Oh, okay. I guess I have... Does that not reach over there? I thought we checked that. It shows two autocrafters. We got the one here and the one there. Is it counting itself, maybe? Sorry, I've... I have game confusion in terms of which button to press to do what from all the other games I've been playing. Um, 
Here, let's let's rebuild this right here. Oh, wait a second though. It's got to be in range of the algae, doesn't it? Let's try it right here. Okay, it can it can hit one algae or two algaes. And now it's hitting the crafting station. So, if we tell it to make this success. Okay, good. Good deal. So maybe this won't be as complicated as I thought then because because that other thing does in fact make the you know the rare larva. Okay, so both of you are set to receive tier two animal food. What if we only tell it to do tier two now? And pull those out. And we need this to be a supplier of tier two. We'll just have it supply everything. Okay. Now, I don't know if that can keep up with, with the animal consumption, but the drones are on their way to deliver it. So I guess it really just depends upon how quickly this thing's going to crank out uncommon larva. I think I'll just let this go for now and I'll check it later, but eventually this is going to fill up and we'll probably have to set up a shredder situation for it. I'm going to put one of these over here. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just let this run for a bit and I'll I'll come back and check it later and if I notice these are completely empty then that means this, you know, this can't keep up with it. And I suspect that's probably going to be the case, but we'll see. You know, we'll just see how it does. We'll see how it does. Okay, anyway, let's get back to what we were doing, uh, making this new critter here. So we need a size, uh, which we got here, size five, and we need a color B, which we got. Well, hey, look at that. Okay. This is going to be fun, man. This is the new species, species four. Let's see what it looks like. It's, it's kind of like a, I'm going to call you Fernhead. <laughs> oh, listen to the noise it makes. It does a little chirping thing. It's kind of like a cross between a turtle, a frog, and I almost want to say like a moth, you know, like the moth antenna. You're not going to crash into my head, are you? No. There we go. Species four, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we need to, we need to get a screenshot here. Oh, he even like, yeah, he even his little bioluminescent, uh, bio, whatever, bioluminescent. That's what, that's what my mouth's trying to say. Uh, even glows like when it gets in the shadows, that has an orange glow to it. That's really cool. All right. That was a nice little accomplishment finding the, you know, the fourth species. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. And um, like I said, I'll keep an eye on, on this. I think the solution, if it can't keep up, would be to put in more of these and then just, you know, set up shredders to just deal with the excess, you know, larva. And, um, you know, and see if, if that's enough to, to keep up with it. And if not, you know, we can we can keep supplementing it with just normal. But here's the thing though, we're at, we're now at 4.87 TTI. I mean, it's not we might even hit 5 in the next episode. So, I may not worry about it. I might just, you know, leave it as it is. Tell you what I will do though, um even though I'm not going to automate it, let's put some of this stuff back in here for the time being since it's going to take a while. 
for those next ones to generate. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Look at you. Oh, we never named you. Uh, yeah, we did. We named you Fernhead. That's Fernhead. Everybody meet Fernhead. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.